calm down Cause he just wanna learn son So I teach him son I am the one that teach Call me 10, 10 wins and 20 Don't expand in all directions And I agree, that's why it's not comparable So I'll ask my original question The gas which expands in all directions Needs to press on something To be pressure And I wanna know what it's gonna press on At the top I, I've already explained to you, um, Nathan. Can I talk now? I've already explained to you that the, the greater pressure is at the bottom, uh, such as as in water. The, the greater pressure is the deepest part of water. At the top, the pressure's least, and when it reaches the top, that's the, the least amount of pressure there is. So it might just push out, and you might get a smaller escape of atmosphere into the space, but not a lot. Oh, sorry. The escapes into the atmosphere. Well, what would happen, Gary, in line with entropy, is that it would disperse rapidly into the available space that it has available to it. So if you're saying that it's got nothing to press on, then it would disperse into the available space. That's true if there was a lot of pressure, Nathan, but there's not much pressure. The pressure decreases. Oh, really? How much pressure do we have compared to the 10 to the minus 17 tor of the vacuum of space, Brian? Let me know. What do you think that means? Oh, go on, save him. Save it. Just needs it. You can't accuse me again, of you. saving someone you. every time I yeah, just him, the you. bag. Yeah, yeah. Don't, I'm, I'm, I'm so little, so we need weak, we need you. dumb, we need you, retarded, <laughs> ugly. Wait, I said ugly. Stupid. You're stupid out. You're stupid. Speak, Nathan, because you're I'm allowed to speak without you making an accusation against me and being so rude. It's an open panel. There are no rules. You're, you're ridiculous. Just absolutely ridiculous. I believe that's an ad hominem. What do you think this 15 to the whatever tour means? Is that the same as pressure? Nathan? How? Oh, Nathan, you there? Welcome to the Flat Earth Clown Show. What's the internet? Is the internet broke? Did I break this thing? Sorry. No, it's still working. I think he only wants to talk to me for some reason because he thinks he can break me. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, not to be old fashioned, but like the, the men were speaking, you know? If I was him, I'd target you too. Would you? I'm just, yeah. On this panel, yeah. Well, maybe Jared. Go so, for, are you saying that there's a rule against me speaking? I, no, I'm joking. Okay. Anyway, we're not moving on very fast now, are we? There's, 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 yeah, there's no rules or whatever. You guys can fucking scream. That's what I thought you said. I thought you wanted anger, so. I was just delivering. You deliver your good shit. Uh, you're a good director, Hitch. Oh, thanks, man. Except for I'm pretty sure I just destroyed Nathan's internet connection with my anger. Yeah, I think you broke it. What was that? What was that? Just, just distract me temporarily. So did we get an answer? What's the pressing on at top? I think they said nothing. But... How long are they dispersed into it? Because it needs it to press on to be pressure in the first place. So without anything to press on, we wouldn't be breathing. So that's nonsense because we'd all be dead. Because all the gas would disperse. We'd all be dead. Uh, it's not just because we all be dead, not because right, gravity right, makes it right, makes right, it go right, towards right, the earth, and that's where the pressure right, actually right. is not at the top. But we'd all be dead because I'm Nathan Oakley. I've been Nathan Oakley, and I'm right. We'd all be dead. We'd all be dead. Just get it all out, Q. I thought if I stepped away, get it out, dude. You get it out, man. See, this is your version of the mute button. Just talk all over. Oh, that's how you were trying to use it before when you kept interrupting me. You just say I was saving people. What are you doing now? This is why I learned from the best Nathan Oakley. I learned from I've been Nathan Oakley. Surely you've heard of him. Yeah, yeah. So I stepped away long enough for you to get it out, and you still couldn't help talking over me when I was making my point. I just want everybody to understand we'll all be dead if you're not right. Nathan, Ben, Oakley. You way to misunderstand. I can explain it again calmly. If you'll let me talk I'm without talking about it. Can you again calmly? Oh, and God. Without something. Oh. Hey, yo, Jaros. 
it is, am I done here, basically? It doesn't matter how long I leave. Or We've so. already been answered this question. You keep asking the same question. We've already answered it, everyone. Yeah. Tell me how you've got gas. But I asked you a question, in, well, two actually, but one more specifically, but you didn't answer any of them. All right. I don't give a shit what you're asking me. I was in the middle of a conversation of a man you just saved. Well, no, you're in the middle of a different conversation. Isn't that interesting how yeah, that happens? And I'm trying to ask you, how is it that we can be breathing the gas that expands in all directions if there's nothing to press upon? I don't know, Nathan. You better see a doctor if you can't breathe. Quite finished. DQ, that was about four seconds, but you couldn't help yourself. Oh, yeah, it's your mute button. Please, please tell everyone who I am, Nathan, so that you can prove how right you are about everything. Well, is this your way of muting people? Just oh, I don't off. mute people. I don't, that's you. Yeah, well, that's don't, you do. I don't literally project yourself on me because everyone will see through that. Well, no, you're talking all over me while I try and get to the I end know. of one statement, like now, without you being able to interrupt me. So I'll try once more. You mean like right now or just before? I'll go and pause, let you get out tuckered out, then I'll try and make a statement. Oh, I'm not going to get tuckered out, sweetie. Yeah, to be fair, Nathan, you, you're a bit broken when you first start speaking, so we don't actually always hear uh, when you when you, you pipe in. So um, if we do talk over you, sorry about that. But the answer to that question that you just asked, and I will answer it myself, I don't need you to answer it. Um, you, oh, is that how you use your oh, mute button, Nathan Oakley? You talk over Sky, Skyfly Bride like that? That's how you use your mute button? Oh, my fucking God. Come on, guys. Jeez, what are you so mad about? What the fuck are you mad about? Jared, I'll fucking snipe you right now, dude. I was trying to. <laughs> Sorry, did you not hear? Oh, he's talking. Is this I'll pause. All right. It, it seems pointless me being here every time I talk. Five other people do. So you, want, I'll give you controls if you want the mute button. Not at all. I just want to be able to talk and be heard. Is that unreasonable? Tell him to shut the fuck up. Then. I'm trying to Q just every time, or Brian in this case, while I was having a conversation with Q. So is it just they come as a pair? I have to talk to both of them, whether I like it or not. I don't know. It's it's up to you guys. But if you want to do like a like one one point from Brian, one point from Q, I don't know. You you guys figure it out. You don't have to leave though. Yeah, you guys figure it out on yourselves. Once you figured it out, I'll have a conversation with one or the No, I mean like you guys. Not... I will tell you what, I'll leave and let you talk, talk. Keep talking. I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye bye. Right. No, I don't have to snipe. Right. Welcome to the Flat Earth Clown Show. Okay, so uh. Q, you have a claim or like a point thing? Well, I have a question for Nathan. Oh, oh, that's the end of that point then. I was leaving a nice long gap, but we still haven't figured out how we're breathing, given that there's nothing for the gas pressure to press upon. You think there's an infinitely expanding vacuum that it well, doesn't, and oh, you see, I knew I wouldn't get to the end. Oh, yeah, I know, because when you, when you start out wrong, you should be stopped with sentence and corrected. You're a fucking bitch and you can't keep your mouth shut. That's why I don't. Oh, no, no, I'm a bitch. Oh. So shut your fucking mouth, bitch. Listen to what I've got to say. Shut my mouth. Yo, see, the, the problem is, is that every time you begin this, you, you go on about pressure and the pressure and all the pressure, but you forget about the force acting upon it. Gravity. Right, this, this part of the so, measurement. So it needs, the pressure needs to have a container unless acted upon by a force such as gravity. So, so I'm going to try to help you understand by saying it in Nathan Oakley language. You yes, Pre <laughs> air pressure, air pressure needs a container unless otherwise acted upon by a force such as gravity. Is that, did you understand it? Yeah, so pressure has its own measurement of force. Do you know gravity. what that means? Oh, yeah, just asking a simple question. It was fairly Gra short. Gravity is pretty, pretty even. It applies the same amount of force in all things. It's a, depending nice. on mass, affects how much things yeah, work. I, I can't talk to this bitch. She can't shut the fuck up long enough for me to have a conversation with her. It's, uh, hey, just I'm just tell her to shut up. Yeah, Hi. Call me a bitch. Call me a bitch. Call me a bitch like maybe 40 more times. Maybe that'll shut up. Say yeah. bitch. You Say what, bitch? Bitch. Bitch. Yes. You done talking yet, you stupid bitch. Good. Right. Right. If you have gas yeah. pressure. She can't fucking help herself. She's if we do have gas pressure. pressure. Shut, shut the fuck up. We do have gas pressure. If. Okay. Let me know when you're done. Let me know when you're done. Yeah, I think no, I'm you, done. You, I think you I'm let done me know. You. Yeah, I'm done with you, Q. You're a fucking retard. I'm okay. done with you. You don't have to leave. Okay, just, at least I at least just understand. Like that. That, okay, no, you know, that pressure can be acted upon by the force of gravity. You still can't shut the fuck up while I tell her 
I'm done with her retired ass. Okay, Q, I'm done with you. You're sick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you feel that way. Can we move on to natural, including everything part of the physical unit? Yes, P. Yes, P. Because um, natural includes everything a part of the physical universe and things that people make are part of the physical universe. Welcome so, to the I don't think your Earth argument Planet. that uh, it's man-made and it's not science is valid. Are you talking to me? Oh, can you show me man-made on that list you brought up, please? It doesn't specifically say man-made, but it talks about all right. What, what I mean, it says it. I'm actually making points. If your point is that you can use man made shit, why doesn't it say man made on your citation, you dumb fuck? Well, because they probably weren't thinking about satisfying your every need. Point. No, I don't think they were thinking about what you were trying to prove with your shitty point here, They were thinking about something else. I mean, it says man made, but not in those words. It says it includes man made objects, but not in those specific words, right? Oh, like man-made objects, that would be part of the citation that you're using to prove that man-made objects can be included in the scientific method. Why? Because anything that's physical, a part of the universe, is natural. So man-made objects are physical, therefore they are natural. Okay, show me a natural car. Every car is natural. They're part of the physical universe. That's what natural means. It means it's part of the physical universe. So unless you know of a non-physical car, every car is natural. Do you want to show me where it says supernatural in this? I don't have that definition. So it not only doesn't say man-made, it doesn't say supernatural. So this makes basically none of your points. This is the definition of natural. To be fair, it is Berkeley. It knows there's a bunch of pussies over at Berkeley. Sure, but it definitely doesn't say anything about supernatural, juxtaposing this position that P has taken, and it also doesn't say anything about fucking man-made items, does it, P? It says man-made items. I mean, it doesn't specifically say the words man-made, but it talks yeah. about things that are man-made. Yeah, that's my point, you stupid retard. It doesn't fucking say that. So it's a useless citation that doesn't back your point. You retard. Okay, Nathan, it says it, but not, I said specifically in those words. Like, there, if you have reading comprehension, it, it says that it includes man-made objects, but not specifically those words. It's so, does, not. so that would be my point, that it doesn't fucking say that. No, it does say it, just not verbatim. Oh, show me where it says that. Show me where it says man-made. Uh, it says nat know. natural entities include all the components of the physical universe around us, like atoms. So... Anything that's physical in part of the universe around us would include in the definition of natural, which would be cars. Sorry, where does it say cars? I don't see that on the it list. It doesn't specifically say, state so why have you got it, then that's you natural. It, it says it includes everything that's physical. Hey, there's, a little, there's a little italicism says what is natural. What happens if you click that? I can't because this is a picture that I saved. Oh, well, maybe you could go back and click that and see. I don't have the link. So yeah, so this doesn't back your point, Pete. It is quite literally useless. Well, we're into steps I order a new one. Um, it's a new one at the time. It says natural entities include all the components of the physical universe around us. So it, it would it does say that. It does agree with me. That's lovely, Pete. Do you want to show me again? Should we do this five more times where I point out it doesn't say the words fucking man made on there? It doesn't have the words cars on there, and it doesn't just to juxtapose it with supernatural, which is the thing you're claiming. Our, okay. Would a car be a component of the physical universe around us? It does not say cars on there, you stupid retard. How many more fucking times have I got to tell you this? It would, okay, if I said all the components of the physical universe, would that include a car? If you said. Uh, why the fuck do you have a citation of, I don't give a shit what you say, you're a fucking retard? That's in the citation, it says all the components of the physical universe, and I'm pretty sure cars are, would be included as a component of the physical universe. That written down, you're just lying, it doesn't say that. It says, of, natural, of the physical universe, natural entities include all the components of the physical universe, which would be... Components? Physical. Components. So, yeah. So what you're saying is, if you take some of those components, put them together in a car, that fits that definition, does it? 
a component is a part or an element of a larger I'm, whole. I'm lots so of does a car have lots of them? You are a component <laughs> of the universe. It doesn't specify what you're claiming, P. You are retarded. Are you a part of the universe or are you not a part of the universe? Dude, this is boring because P is a retard. Why? So, Why? Oh, yeah, it is boring. Like the whole atoms thing. I'm not down with atoms because they, they like I've never seen one and you've never seen one. You're not sure that it exists. And... Ooh, what you making? Is that chili? It's a lot of atoms in there. Yeah, but the word natural, it just means it's of the physical universe. That's the only thing I'm saying. Yeah, but I mean, like, that's it's fucking kind of weird because like they, there's that natural flavors stuff like in uh, food. Right. So there's also like synthesized stuff. If you put synthesized stuff in food, would it still be natural? Like, is that what you're saying? I mean, technically it would be, yes. And and you'll see like 100% natural juice on a product, but that's not, it doesn't mean that it's not man-made. It's still man, like a man made all the components to the, it man made the cardboard box, man made the juice. It's all man-made, but it says 100% natural. Yeah, I'm more talking about Welcome like to the flat earth clown hydrofluoric acid or something. You know what I mean? Something that you you can't just like get out of the ground or like out of the air. You have to fuck with it you, first. Why do you think orange juice? You has, you no, know, if you get orange juice, it says 100% natural, but it'll have a consistent flavor. It's because it's not just natural. It's not like they're just squeezing oranges and then that's their 100% natural orange juice. They're adding chemicals and things into. Uh, take advantage of people's misunderstanding of what words mean and then he'll present his argument which is not an, a valid argument if you actually analyze what the, the words really mean sure what would you prefer i say if i like if um you know sucralose for example like if if i don't want sucralose or aspartame um shout out to uh dq out there what would i use like I mean, if I saw 100% natural or no artificial flavors or something, I'm still going to read the ingredients. That's the only way to tell. Because, like, the stuff they put on the packaging to make you buy it, it's not telling you the truth, right? You have to go read yeah. the ingredients. All natural flavoring is an ingredient that's a chemical. So they can put it on the front of the package and say, it's it's literally, all natural <laughs> they named the chemical all natural flavoring. And then you can look and it's a chemical, yes. Like monosodium glutamate, MSG. It's called advertising. Don't you remember what Bill Hicks said about it's advertisers? Mark yeah, they marketed uh, MSG, they call it a flavor enhancer, but it has no flavor. So how does that make sense? A flavor enhancer with no flavor. It's a drug. It's marketing. It's literally a drug. Sorry. Yeah, then let's argue about what drug means for fucking 10 hours. What does synthetic mean? What is What do the pussies well, over at Berkeley think about what, uh, what does that mean? The only reason I want to argue the definition of natural is because Nathan basically says all these experiments are invalid because they're not natural and he's misusing the definition of natural. So his argument is just ridiculous. So. I've got you. Oh, who the fuck is this? All right. I'll, I'll be right back. I don't like semantical arguments, but Nathan's. They're fun though. When, you, when it pisses people off. It's good. I mean, it, what Nathan does, it's good debate tech tactics. I, I think he's a good debater. I'm but it's, no, I, I don't. I won. Everybody in chat said I won. Oh, yeah, you told me what I won. I did. You, you should let me talk. <laughs> you guys okay. were, you thought you were arguing or arguing whether Earth is flat or not? It was just to see who could piss who off more. And he well, that's what the guy it. said. He said he wanted anger. Look in the yeah. back chat. I said, I have oh, anger. Yeah. That was me. Oh, see? So then I was just delivering. Yeah. You guys Deliver, you get a gift, dude. What? You can come back, Nathan. Patricia, yeah, yeah. I swear, like, Patricia Steer, you're out there in the chat. I saw what you said, and I had to time you out. If you do that again, you're probably out of your timeout. You can come back out of the corner now, but if you, if I get another outburst out of you, you're fucking banned for life for sure. What the fuck did Patty do? Oh, she comes in the chat. Whoa, harshness happening. Not for me. Have a nice day, everyone. What do you mean, have a nice day? Oh, she left. Then. Like, I wasn't having a nice day already? Wow, that is rude. She was probably upset because Nathan kept calling me a bitch. No, she's she's a liberal. That's okay, right? You guys are like equal rights or whatever. Well, then maybe she was upset because Nathan kept calling P. Mars a retard. I think she was mad because he was cooking meat in that pot. <laughs> That's probably it. Hey. <laughs>